welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing well today is an exciting day that i have been waiting for since the moment i got back from uni it is hair day people oh finally these roots can be banished and i thought i would bring you along on my little pamper day you know because it is a pamper um, I'm going to show you obviously my hair now and then maybe me in the car or me in the salon depending on obviously the rules um, and obviously the finished product um, with my face on etc etc um, and talking about my experience so I thought this would be quite a cool video with everything that's obviously going on and I wanted to tell you if the experience is the same or what makes a huge difference and yeah so I thought you could come along on my little hair transformation hopefully it is a bit of a hair transformation otherwise it's gonna be a bit of a shit video isn't it um so as you can see um the roots are horrendous like look at that all up until there is rootage Let's not, let's not even look underneath because look at that. Can you see that? Like how dark I am. Like if I was to put my hair up, I'm pretty much, look, I'm pretty much a frigging brunette. Look at that. That is actually horrendous. How is that okay? No, 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 no. That is going. That is getting rid of. Um, yeah, God, even when I do that, like, look how dark. Can you see? It's like a freaking shadow. Wow, wow lovely angle. Um, yeah, so roots are being sorted out. Also, the fact that it's near enough touching my shoulders too long for molly here um yeah i think when it's this long length i love it because i can like pop it back pop it up when it's greasy etc however i think it just does nothing for my face framing so yeah we're going shorter and blonder as per usual if you know me I just always tend to go to the hairdresser and be like, yeah, let's go blonder and shop, let's go shorter because why not? Why friggin' not? You know, it grows back and if we go back into the second peak before I get it done again, I'm definitely going shorter. Um, but yeah, this is my hair now. Sticky out, so that needs to go as well. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll update you either in the car, in the salon, or maybe when I've had the full transformation. Who knows? Um, keep watching to find out, I guess. Oh, let's go get the main done. Let's go get the main done. Oh, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm excited. I'm going to get my hair done. See you in a bit. Love you. Oh, how? Bye. Let's go. Mm -mm. Here we are. Here we are. Here we are. She's back. She's arrived with the blonde locks intact. Oh, I feel so much better. It's a joke. Um, yeah, first off, well, let's talk about what's happened, shall we? As you would have seen, um, I was had a lot of roots, I was very dark, and it was very long. It was actually up to here when we started um, cutting it, and even my hairdresser was like, wow, it is long. And then turns out I hadn't actually had my hair done in 20 weeks. 20 weeks now for a blonde 
that's a freaking lifetime i tell you now so yeah i had roots really bad roots and it was really long and it was losing its shape as you can see the roots ladies have gone look at that look at that and when i do this can't really see it anymore can you because i've got the blonde oh i'm back i absolutely adore the color it's more of like an ashy blonde with a nice little bit of natural color pulled through yeah so it's not it's not like your yellowy blonde it's more of your ashy like i love it oh and then cut wise we just took loads off um it's a little bit shorter at the back which i need to see because the back of my hair is always very thick and it always ends up curling out when it gets a little bit longer so we just took a chop off at the back and then gradually made it longer towards the front because i kind of liked the extra little bit of length um in the front of my hair um but yeah i feel like it just makes it look so much more thicker so much more chic and like bold and blunt and phew, ready to go like look at that oh, you wouldn't have got that with the hair i had in the previous clips would you um no i just absolutely adore it um can still get into a tiny little pony at the back if I like clip little bits in place but yeah I can't stop touching it now I feel like I've had my hair done for like the first time in years um yeah this is it this is the hair this is the judge oh I love it oh my god I love it um talk about my experience I have my hair done at Tony and Guy the experience was absolutely incredible I thought it'd be really weird and I'd feel out of place and it would just wouldn't feel like the experience you know you all go for to have your hair done you go to you have your hair done to have a little bit of a pamper a little bit of a treat me session especially that little head massage oh I didn't even realize I had missed it that much so when she started massaging my head I was like this is it the, this is the moment this is actually happening like what is going on oh it was so nice and so well needed um but they were you know on top of everything absolutely incredible service as soon as i got in there was no one else waiting um showing to my sheets showing to my seat straight away was given a care pack that had my own mask in place um my ppe which I'll insert a picture, I don't know which side, um, yeah, my own PPE pack, it had my own apron to shield all my clothes that would then just be disposed of as soon as I'd finished using it at the end of my trip, um, a nice little dye one, like, like, what is it called like bin bag material dye one again that got disposed of as soon as it had been used um and two little microfiber um towels that were literally like paper thin again they got thrown in the bin as soon as it had been done and had been finished um sorry if you can hear that doorbell it's extremely loud um but yeah, all of that was disposed of as soon as it had been finished with. PPE was optional. You didn't have to wear it. However, the staff did. So all the stuff you were dealing with either had a visor on or PPE mask, which, you know, was fine. And my lady had the PPE, PPE, had the visor on so you could still see her. And you could still have an actual conversation and interaction with her. So it was literally the exact same experience, except more caution, more cleaning, um yeah it was actually really nice like when you had your hair washed you weren't sat next to someone you had a again a black it was like a black um plastic shield in between each of them but they still didn't put one one person in each it was still one person gap one person so it was actually nice the fact that you had more space around you and it just didn't feel as busy, even though 
they were absolutely rammed apparently today like because they've got an upstairs and downstairs but it just didn't feel like that so yeah it actually had an extremely nice atmosphere around it um and just extra cleaning and i still got to have an incredible chat like you do with your hairdresser and tell them freaking everything because who doesn't if you don't then a bit odd um but yeah it was a really nice experience i thought it'd be really weird and take away the aspect from the pamper however yeah it all felt somewhat normal even though it's not normal in any of this situation but it was nice and i'm back a blonde again and here we are oh i absolutely just love it yay it's a new hair day but what a difference right i didn't even realize it was 20 weeks and then the lady at the tail was like, you've not been in for 20 weeks. And I was like, fuck. The last time I was supposed to have my hair got cancelled the day before my 23rd birthday party because of this situation. So yeah, it will have been 20 weeks. Like, what the hell? And you can definitely tell the difference between the photos. Um, it was going straggly and thin and the colour was going yellow. So here we are fellow peeps of the channel i hope you love it as much as i do um yeah i hope you've enjoyed this video i hope it's been worthwhile maybe a quick little one but i just thought why not share the before and after of this little pamper session with me <laughs> if you did enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up share subscribe and i'll see you soon for another video Goodbye.